Good morning to you from the uh, Newberry Church of Christ office. I'm Jess Carter. I'd like to talk to you today about a subject that uh, I find that a lot of people need to realize. And that is basically the simplicity. The simplicity of, of the Bible. It's a, a big word, basically just trying to tell you, trying to show the world that the Bible is not a, a book of a mystery. It is not a book of hidden knowledge. Uh, there's a lot of movies and things made about how we have the mystery and the codes of the Bible and all of this. The, the Bible is a book that is written for the common man to understand. By looking up uh, at the New King James Version, for instance, the uh, majority of people today would say that the, uh, my research has said that the book was written for the American sixth or seventh grade level. So we're talking about a, a middle school child. This is the uh, this is what the, the level of the, the language that's being used. And it's a book that God wants us. He wants us to read. And Revelation says, blessed is he that readeth this book and he that heareth this book. Matter of fact, Paul told Timothy, we look at 2 Timothy 2 and 15. There in the old King James, it says, study to show thyself approved unto God, a work that needest not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. In the new King James, it says, be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a workman who does not need to be ashamed of rightly dividing the word of truth. He says that we are to divide the word of truth. God would not tell us to do something that is impossible. That would not be a loving God. He tells us that we are. Notice it says that we are to what? It says present yourself approved unto God. We present ourselves approved unto God when we study God's word. This simplicity, the simple word of God we are to look at. We can take that and even see that faith. We know, I think most people in, in the Christian that claim to be a, a Christian believe and realize that faith is, it is important, so important. In Hebrews chapter uh, 11 and verse 4, we find that we can study and see that it says that they are by faith able to offer up a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. He said they did that by faith. A, a lot of times I say that because when I was studying with people and starting with them in the Old Testament, and we would we would look uh, at what was said in, in Genesis chapter 4 where it talks about Cain and, and Abel. It says that he, you know, he offered up, Cain offered up the fruit of the, of, of the earth. He was a farmer, but God was not pleasing or happy with him. And a lot of people don't understand that. Well, by studying the Bible, I know that he did not do what God told him to do. By faith, Abel offered up a more excellent sacrifice. And because of lack of faith, and I know God told them what to offer. It's not recorded in God's word, but in Romans 10, 17, it says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. If faith comes by hearing and Abel did it by faith, then guess how he found out, how did he get that faith? He got it through what? The word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Today, we need people that will realize they can look at the Bible, they can study the Bible themselves. You do not have to have, now this is almost funny for a preacher to say, how can you say that? But you do not need me to tell you or show you. I can help you, but it's the Word of God that you must look into. The Word of God is how we get the faith that we are to use and that we are to do. Faith comes by hearing. My friend, the Bible is simple. I believe if you read it, 
you will find it very simple to do. Some of the books are more simple than others. If you want to read, if you do to Christianity, I would tell you to do what I, when I was a prison chaplain in Texas. Men would come to me that had never read the Bible before. 20, 30 year old men. They would come and say, Chaplain, I never read the Bible at home. I never read the Bible. What would you recommend? Where would you recommend I started? I would tell them to start in Mark because I want them to realize who Jesus is. Mark, the simplest book about the crime. Read the book of Mark. In the Bible, that is one of the most simple, pleasant books that we can read. It shows you Christ the Savior. And then follow that one, I would always tell them to read James. A book very simple, telling us that what we are to do, while we are to act. This, the gospel is simple. If I can help you in any way, uh, it's not a, it's not something I'm going to unlock for you. If I can help you to see the simplicity of the gospel, I, I plead with you to give me a call. But look yourself. You will find it much easier than most people tell you when you look at God's Word. I recommend that you look at it and have a good Bible. If you have any other thing, I want you to have a good Bible. Bible, I'm going to recommend to you. I'm going to recommend the Open Bible by Thomas Nelson, publisher. The Open Bible is a great, and you can get it in the King James or New King James or other versions, but I love the New King James or King James. It really has a lot of helps, a lot of reference, and it will, if you have just this Bible and read it, then you will see what you need to do to be pleasing to God. God be with you till we meet.